Do you know at all what sort of hauntings and shit happened in that house? Because I know you experienced a few different things. Um, it was a lot of, like, it was child stuff, mostly. But Are you sure it wasn't, like, demons and shit? It, well, it didn't ever seem to be demonic. It never seemed malicious or anything? Um, well, I mean, the night that the spoon hit me in the ass, and... <laughs> The night that, uh, the night that the spoon hit me in the ass and the night that it smacked, that something smacked James's ass in the shower, um, <laughs> I kind of think was Joe. <laughs> I mean. I mean, if you're a ghost and you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want with no real world consequences, why not? But, I mean. I mean, like, stuff that was in the house when we moved in. That's what I mean. But when we first moved there, it was, um, it was mostly, like, there would be the sound of shit breaking. But you never f actually found anything that broke? No. Um, like, there was one day you were at school, and, uh... Candren? Candren... It sounded like Kandrin, um, broke the TV upstairs, and it was dead silent. And I ran upstairs, because I wanted to make sure he didn't get cut, and there was nothing. He was still sitting right where I left him, doing nothing. Because Kandrin. Let's see. But, like, I know that house is really fucking old. Like, built in 1899. Yes, and the original owner died on Halloween the following year. Real shit? Real shit. You didn't tell me about that. And his wife died, I think, just before then. Like, just before he did. And they were both buried in the cemetery that was just outside of, uh, town. Shit. Because I found their grave. Did he die in the house? Could never find that, but he had no heirs. He had no kids. So it, I could never find out where the property, what the property was, um, what happened to it, like who bought it or anything. It wasn't willed to anybody. You know what? I have photos of it on my Facebook. You want to try logging into your Facebook to find pictures? I forget what it was. Maybe it was Google Maps. I tried Google Maps. I couldn't find it on there. Well, I mean, I found it, but I couldn't find pictures. Did you ever find any records of anyone who died in that house? I didn't, but I couldn't find much. Um, what I did That's find... Sus. What I did find was... Um, it was... It was... Uh, here we go. Satellite. It was the dude that built the house was um, the sheriff of the town at the time. Uh. And back in those days, if he had been a radical, like they, until like the 1970s, did not allow um, black people in their town. Like, just didn't. But, um... I don't want to say that's racist as fuck, but that's racist as fuck. There you go. Oh, there it is, yeah. But, um, as... When uh, was this image taken? Um, I'm not sure if you can find that information. Oh. Uh, this image was from 2014, so that the year after we moved out. Yeah. But, uh...
I mean, they cleaned it up. They got rid of all that stupid English ivy. But this wasn't actually our window, if you remember right. Yeah, because they split the house up. I remember there was someone who was living on the bottom side of uh, the split, but there was no one on the top. So, like, if you were standing in the kitchen, it makes sense if you heard something, but upstairs, there was no one else on the other side. Yeah. But They wait. have a fucking pool in their driveway. I guess that was the only way they were allowed to have a pool, because they told me no pools, and they, the backyard, if you remember, the backyard barely existed. There was almost no backyard. There was, like, three feet of backyard, that was it. But, I mean, there you go. Right. They got rid of the fire bush. That covered the entire window, because that right there is the living room. Yeah. And that tiny thing in the basement, right there, Yeah. that was originally a cool chute. They got rid of the satellite dish, because the satellite dish we had was right here. So, basically you could find almost no history about this house. Basically, no, because the original owner had... No one that... He had no kids, he had, so yeah, it he had, never went to anyone's will. Yeah, so, but if he would have been a radical and, you know, believed in abolishing slavery, which it, oh, slavery was abolished way before uh, this house was built, but in, in Ohio, even after it was... But Ohio is a northern state. Yeah, but we still helped people to freedom because just because it was abolished does not mean that it was okay. So there was a tunnel that was... Yeah, I remember down in the basement. Yeah, there was a tunnel that led underneath the street. Now, um, and it ran to that big-ass house across over here. Mm-hmm. And it's, if you look, it's really fucking old, too. It's got, like, the original um, wrought iron fence and stuff. So if the affluent people, and this was an upscale neighborhood at that time. Um, Isn't it still an upscale neighborhood? Because I know the houses in this area were really fucking expensive. Yeah. Um, if they would have been opposed to slavery and attempted to help slaves... That would explain a lot of the activity, but also but um, there's no, in the 1930s. So there was a there was activity there relating to that, but you couldn't find any history about it. Yeah, well, you have to remember our um, basement floor. Part of it was um, a dirt floor. Yeah, which means they could have buried slaves that had passed. I don't like to think about the fact that there were bodies in the basement. That's not something that I like to think about. However, that would explain a lot. But, um, there was, um, in the 1930s, they would have had Prohibition. And Prohibition, they would have been moving liquor. And them moving liquor, there was a lot of people who died doing that, too. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck would I have put these photos? Because I had photos of the inside of the house the day that we moved in. And I'm pretty sure this is the profile I would have put it on. Hey, like, can you leave your Facebook up when you go back upstairs? Because there are pictures that I want to look through just to see if I can find anything. Because, you know, spooks like to show up in the background. Yeah, I st never caught any, though. Didn't you, like, catch orbs out front? No, that was the house in Toledo. The house in Toledo was haunted as fuck, too. Yes. Just not, like, it, not nearly as much, but it was. In a different way. It wasn't anything that ever bothered us because it was afraid of Joe. Well, and, of course it was afraid of Joe. And the sicker Joe got, the more, it, the, it, more orbs and stuff it fucked with us. But... I like how a majority of your photos on here is shit relating to Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, of, of course it was 
Of course they were scared of Joe, because, well... Joe? Yeah. And Joe was, well, pagan. So, of course it was going to be... Whatever was well, in that house. Joe was had, of him. when we first moved in, Joe did a spell so that they couldn't actually come in the house. So they hung out outside. So more like they existed on the general property, but they couldn't exist in the house. Yes. I'm sure that these pictures would have been on this profile. I don't think I would have put them. I had two. Oh, I was so tiny. <laughs> I have two of them. You can look through my other photos, too. Um, this one is under Miranda Milligan. And I was under the impression that I had everything from that house on this one. All right. But if you want to look through... Your current one, which is Cress. Yeah. I might have uploaded it to that, but I don't think I did. But you'll have to scroll and scroll and scroll to get to this one, unless I have an album. Hmm. I don't know, it's... I just suddenly remembered today about all the weird shit that happened in that house. Well, I guess I did, because this one was... These are taken in that house. So I guess I may have posted in there. Like I said, I'll go through everything and I'll see if I can find it. But I know that I had photos of the front of the house and of each angle in the entire house. When I when we moved in, because I was showing everybody what the new house looked like, and it was fucking huge, and it was only part of the house. And I had tried to get the landlord to knock down that one wall, so that we could have both sides of the upstairs, so that Cadence had her own room. Because if Cadence had her own room, we wouldn't have had to move. Mm -hmm. But there was no. But also, there was no insulation in the entire upstairs. But there, well, there was no way for me. To put Cadence in your room, because your room was tiny as fuck. <laughs> and I couldn't move Cantron and Hunter to your room and move you and Cadence to the other room. Because then Cantron and Hunter would have had a tiny as fuck room. So that w room being so small was the reason that we moved. There was just no way around having another child and having no place to put them. Alright. Thanks and thank you for helping me find shit, Mom. You're welcome. Um, 